Hey guys, this is Devon Harris from the original Jamaican bobsled team. Guess what? We're gonna watch some clips from Cool Runnings and then we're gonna discuss how factual they are. Cool? So that scene, you know, you see them going downhill, you see them crashing the cops, going through all these farms. But it's, that's all fictional, absolutely. Yeah, nobody trains like that anywhere in the world. Yeah, you do summer training with a makeshift sled as we did. But it's pointless pushing a makeshift sled off the top of a hill and going down it. Uh, because bobsledding is such a, a sportable feeling, the driving of a sled is, that there's just no way you could duplicate the feeling that you would get on ice going down a dirt track at all, right? Five nine, you did it! You did it! Five nine, we did it! We did it! Five nine! The whole business of, oh, they just pushed five nine on the top of a dirt hill. Uh, I, I'm not sure what that even means. It's just like, it's, it's laughable, but you know, it's entertainment, right? Okay. Yes. Oh, boat, Tallulah. <laughs> Actually, our sled didn't really have a name. You know, we, we did call ourselves uh, Ragamuffin, and that's because uh, back in 87, there was a, a, a Jamaican boxer out of the UK, Lloyd Honeygan and he called himself Ragamuffin. And they know to this can-do attitude, he would get in the ring and then uh, make, you know, quickly dispatch his opponents. And, and we, we, we really loved that attitude and that's the attitude that we brought to the sport and to our, to our training. And, and what's interesting is, um, this was November 87, you know, we we're heading back to Jamaica from Austria. And who's on the plane? And we flew through London. Well, Lloyd Honeygan. And, and Dudley Stokes, who were a team captain at the time, uh, he, he goes, hey, let's go sell him a t-shirt. Yeah, so we trekked up to first class. <laughs> and uh, Dudley made his sales pitch. And Lloyd Honeygan stood there going, that's noise, that's noise. <laughs> and then the flight attendant came and kicked us out of first class. So he never bought the shirt. He never won again after that. So if a Jamaican bomb said I asked you to buy a shirt, buy the shirt. <laughs> Whether you're five years old or whether you're 35 years old or 55 years old is the song. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Get on up, it's bobsled time. Nope, nope, didn't happen. So in, um, in 1997, I'm in Park City. I'm, I'm racing, I'm working to qualify for the Olympics in Nagano, 98. And I had a, a couple of extra training runs. And I remember doing that. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme, get on up, it's bobsled time. And it, it just, it, it, it just sucked all of the intensity from the run. And I remember, you know, I got to the bottom, I got, and I, and I remember as I crossed the finish line, I went, that was a wasted run. I learned nothing on that run. Absolutely nothing. All I did was drive the sled from the top to the bottom. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, well, now I know. It right. doesn't work. 